Today I'm going to take some time to talk about cybersecurity, obviously, but the point that I want to leave you with is that the cyber threats that we're facing today is just the beginning, right? We're going to see a lot more of this stuff coming down the pike, and as we develop more and more technology, we're going to have more and more risks around technology. We've seen organizations like Silk Road. You could buy any type of drugs you want on the Silk Road. You could buy firearms, of course. You could go ahead and buy Hitman services, so you could buy an assassin. The going rate is about $80,000. This was the person who allegedly started the Silk Road, Ross Ulbricht. According to the FBI in the indictment against him, the Silk Road did $1.2 billion, billion with a B, in just 28 months. Uh, and he kept a document which was called net worth underscore SR. That was very useful to the cops. But you can see his like net worth in just 28 months was $110 million from this illicit enterprise. But we have another challenge as well, and that is the fact that cybercrime is going 3D. There was a woman in Seattle who was changing on her 26-story apartment, and she used to keep the windows open, curtains open, because she had no neighbors, nothing to fear. And so one day she's there doing her naked yoga in her apartment, and she notices outside the window there's a drone filming her in HD and streaming it live on her 26-story apartment. Criminals are flying drones over prison fences and delivering drugs and cell phones and other weapons. And even the government drones that we have out there, it's not just that criminals are building and using their own drones, as our terrorists, Al-Qaeda, and I have examples of that in the book, but even the government drones can be hacked. This was done by students at UT in Austin against the DHS drone. So we have no systems in place to deal with any of this. I'm certainly not saying that technology is bad. I think all of us love tech. That's why we're here. But make no mistake, there is a war on right now between those people who want to use technology for good, like all of you in this room, and those that want to use it to benefit themselves and to harm others. Technology can definitely be awesome. We're going to use tech, connect people around the world. Technology will bring two billion people out of poverty in the next coming years. It will go ahead and radically extend human lifespan. It will significantly reduce infant mortality, and hundreds of millions of people will be educated in ways never previously possible.